Star Trek Online Rise of Discovery is now also available in consoles. The free to play MMORPG first launched in PC and is currently available on Steam. Now, players on PS4 and Xbox One can also experience the adventure that Star Trek Online is. And the console release also comes with the game's latest update, including new content as well as unlockable rewards. A free major update for Conan Exiles is rolled out for players on PC. The sub update will also come to players on Xbox One and PS4 at a later date. So the update adds the War Maker Sanctuary, which in the endgame dungeon where players will face some of the toughest enemies to date, as well as a showdown with the War Maker's champion. Several areas in the game were also revamped, and the players can enjoy new loot. Bo bosses and recipes. John Sparrow's adventure game, What Remains of Edith Finch, is heading to the Nintendo Switch and will be available starting July 4. A listing of the game's release on the Switch first appeared on the Japanese Nintendo eShop, but the game is expected to launch globally on the mentioned date. So, the game lets players play as Edith who tries to figure out why she's the only one left alive in the Eden family. And of searching for his stories in the Finch house. So much in family curse. We need it real. But it had to end one way or another. The release date for the turn-based strategy war game Tiny Metal Full Metal Rumble was been revealed. So the game will be available starting July 11, 2019 and will be playable on PC via Steam and on Nintendo Switch. Tiny Metal The Full Metal Rumble features 77 skirmish mobs and 21 of those are available in multiplayer. It also offers 23 unit types of players to build their armies plus additional units for heroes and commanders. It is also offers 39 campaign missions. PUBG Corporation has opened a new stud studio called Striking Descent. The studio will be taking on the celebration of a new story-focused game that is set within the PUBG universe. So the development of this game will be headed by Glenn Schofield, known for his work on Call of Duty at Sledgehammer Games, as well as the original Dead Space. The Striking Descent studio will be based in California. forward to telling you more when I can, but until then, thank you for sharing this special moment.
the much-awaited Sun chapters of Block Mesa are finally ready to be tested. Crowbar Collective has announced in the Block Mesa's Steam page that the first three Sun chapter mobs are now available in technical beta. There are six mobs in total, but these technical tests will give players an opportunity to check out the first of the three. Do you note that these are still under development, so expect some imperfections. A new update is rolled out for Call of Duty The Black Ops 4. This update contains new mobs as well as some changes to weapons. The new mob is called Hashenda Twilight and it is an outdoor mob which also now currently accessible in the game's multiplayer. The update also adds a weapon tuning for the Demons 3x Beast, which played X9 and MOG or MOG 12. Contracts are also now available featuring 28 daily rotating challenges, which are available across all modes. You can check out the full list of changes on the Black Ops 4 Reddit. Astral Chain director Takahisa Taura took to Twitter to clarify a mistranslation of his interview with IGN Netherlands. The translation mentioned that Astral Chain will be the first game in a trilogy. However, Taura posted a clarification on Twitter saying otherwise. What I actually said, and nothing more, is how in my mind I think about many things when developing Astral Chain, to the point that it could get expanded with two other games are more, Tara said. World of Warships now has a battle royal, and the mode called Rock Wave is a temporary battle royal mode that is set in the dark, toxic sea world. It will come to the game as part of the new 0.8.5 update, which is also set to introduce the two new seasons of a ranked sprint, as well as a few mechanical and cosmetic changes. Rock Wave will have four teams of a tree battle it out for resources while facing the threat of other players, as well as a wall of a wildfire that slowly engulfs the battlefield. Rockstar has announced that they will be rolling out a character recustomization feature for Red Dead Online in its next update. So these will allow players to regret the way they set up the looks of their character to change what they want without having to start over with a new character and lose progress. Playing style of preferences that are also preserved when resetting your character's appearance and another update will see players choosing roles and level up things like bounty hunting, trading, or collecting. A 
A new noir investigation game called Night Call was announced during this year's PC Gaming Show at E3 2019. In this narrative-driven adventure, players take under the rule of a taxi driver who is suspected to be a serial killer. Players will have to prove the protagonist's innocence by working with the police to try and catch the real killer. So you'll need to use a small talk to extract information from your passengers and uncover the truth. So Night Call is set to launch on July 17 in PC via Steam and Xbox Game Pass for PC. Our feature deal for today is a role-playing general game from an exile entertainment called The Bard's Tale for Barrow's Deep. You can get the best price for the game with us now for 6 euro point fifty cents compared to 34.99 euro on Steam. You will save up to 81% on your city key purchase if you get this game today through our trusted stores. So the top and exclamation mark deal for you to get this deal and more of our feature deal. Go to allkeyshop.com to compare city key prices and get the best deals for your money. Blizzard co-founder Mike Morham highlights StarCraft Ghost cancellation as one of his biggest regrets. The third-person action game had a lot of promise and hype surrounding it, and it had received the backing it required. It could have been a sure hit. Now, according to developer, when the game was inbounding, World of Warcraft, which was exploding, so that and Diablo 3 was being nurtured. And as a result, resources were insufficient, and StarCraft Ghost suffered consequently. Tenderfoot Tactics is a tactical role-playing game recently announced by its proud publisher, Badrew. The announcement was a company gameplay trailer that brandishes a vast open-world team and went arcane spirits, witchy goblins, ancient ruins, and lush vistas. Now, in the game, you are a welder of elemental magic who has the ability to manipulate complex natural systems and weaponize them to the miss of your rivals. Now, this Tenderfoot Tactics is due out either late 2019 or early 2020. That's for PC. Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers 5.0 patch notes have been released ahead of the official update launch that's on July 2. According to patch notes, the update will include two new cities, the Crystarium and Elmar, and as well as new filled areas like Clan, Colosha, and Am, Ering, and more. Now, as expected, there will be main scenarios quests that are required for progression and optional side quests. And should you pre-order it, you will have access to expansion, which goes into early access. That was on June 28th. An Apex Legends leak revealed the first significant map change since the game's release. 
And it is unfortunate that news came via leak but does not make it any less interesting for fans of hit VR games. Here's the two trailers which were leaked hours ahead of their official release detailing precisely what is season 2. Changes will be in the most pronounced change is being applied to King's Canyon. The first of trailers shows the invasion of taking players, while the second showed how the disasters occurred. Ubisoft's highly anticipated action-adventure game, Watch Dogs Legion, is set after Scotland leaves the UK and this might be alarming to some, but it is understandable considering the game was in development around the time the Brexit vote was a hot topic. There are some very sensitive topics surrounding the subject and a lot will be left up to interpretation when the game releases. The Brexit outcome might just be the fuel to developers need to create another installment and the Watch Dogs that's going to be in series. Atlas recently published a new Persona 5 girl gameplay video fixated on Reiji Sakamoto. The video shows how Yusuke came up with a new tag move. The gameplay video also revealed that all party members will receive a new Persona evolution that's gonna be in Persona 5 Royal. Reiji's new Persona goes by the name of William, the given name of Captain Kid. The game is a PlayStation 4 exclusive that will be launching on October 31st of this year. That's in Japan, while it will be 2020 before it arrives in the West. Treyarch reportedly developed Call of Duty Black Ops Forest campaign with the intention of making it a 2 versus 2 multiplayer. More specifically, it was supposed to be a story-focused multiplayer mode in which you and another player compete to complete opposing objectives. However, the studio directors cancelled that version of campaign in favor of a more traditional single-player campaign, which was also cancelled due to a lack of time. Now, COD or Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as on PC. Marvel's recently revealed new detail concerning Run Factory 4, special during the third Run Fast Channel stream. And according to developers, another episode mode of Run Factory 4 special is actually DLC content. And in addition, there is one another episode for each Bachelor and Bachelorette, plus the vent as well. The one with vent as well is free, and the other 12 and other episodes are sold in a pack. Players will be able to purchase the DLC when the game launches, that's in Japan, only on July 25th of this year, 2019.
Bethesda German Forums report that Wolfenstein Youngblood will be the series' first game to release and censored in Germany. There is only possible due to change in the practices of Germany's rating board. Previously, a fascist regime was substituted for the Nism portrayed in the series as developers were not sure as uncensored release would be allowed. Now, the uncensored version is allowed, with, which means Germany-based players can share in the authentic Wolfenstein experience. Sega and Ace Team recently made a collaborative announcement in which they unveiled a spiritual successor to Act Racer Soul Seraph. Soul Seraph mixes action and strategy to provide players with a rich gameplay experience. And upon viewing the depart gameplay trailer, 16 bit era's influence becomes readily identifiable. In Soul Seraph, you are an almighty divinity who must rebuild civilization and shield the civilians from mythical demons and monsters. This game drops on July 10, 2019. That's going to be for PC. Blizzard has officially announced that World of Warcraft fell for Azeroth the Rise of Ashara. Free content update is currently available that's for download. The developers say this update is filled with lots of new and exciting features. Soon you will notice the addition of essences to Heart of Azeroth system with two new zones to explore, Nazatari and Mashagon and much more. There is also a new raid that takes place within the depths of Azeroth's Eternal Palace. Our feature deal for today is an action shooter third person RK game that's from Chair Entertainment called Shadow Complex Remastered. You can get the best price for the game it is now for 0.82 euros compared to 14.99 euro on Steam. You will save 94% on your city key purchase if you get this game today for your trusted stores. So to check out more of our deals, just type exclamation mark deal in the stream chat now. Go to allkeyshop.com and compare city key prices and get the best deal for your money.